You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, YNR fans. It is Soap Dirt on YouTube, and we have got your Young and the Restless week ahead spoilers from Monday, June 19th, 2023, all the way to Friday, June 23rd, 2023. We have got the conclusion of the violent Cameron Kirsten storyline. We have got horrifying news for Adam and Sally. We have got Victoria being sketchy as usual, and we have got an episode entirely devoted to a legacy character and his wife has come back on to celebrate her late husband. All right, we're going to dig into all this, but if you haven't already, please reach down, click that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of our Young and the Restless spoilers, casting news, and all your favorite updates on Young and the Restless. All right, let's dig in. Monday, June 19th is Young and the Restless season 50, episode 182. And we have got Faith giving an update to her parents that is explosive, literally explosive. She is attached to a bomb. This is Cameron Kirsten's endgame. He is really messing with Sharon and Nick, and he's got some creepy fixation on Faith now because he thinks she looks like her mother. This guy's run was extremely short. I think we're going to end up with just over two weeks. I mean, that's a really fast villain in and out because on Friday, Cameron is dead. Sharon stabs this guy to death. Thankfully, Nick had, you know, duct taped that knife to her thigh and she pulls it out and she just takes care of business and good for her for being the one to put creepy Cameron down. But boy, Lyndon Ashby was so much fun and I'm going to miss seeing him. He is a great villain, but in a way, it's also great that they didn't just drag it out for months, that he hit the ground running, terrorized them, one and done, and now he's gone. Also on Monday, Sharon Newman and Nick Newman need Chance Chancellor's help. They need him to get the bomb belt off of Faith. And he's looking at it. This is in the new promo for the week. And he's explaining to them how he needs to deactivate the bomb. And there's several explosive devices on them. And he has to undo the detonators one by one. At any rate, it looks like Cameron put a really evil and thorough bomb belt on poor Faith. We also see Adam dealing with a tough decision on Monday. So on the the Friday episode, we have Adam with Sally at the hospital. She had to go into emergency surgery because she had a placental abruption. This can happen with preeclampsia. What a placental abruption is, is when the placenta that's attached to the walls of the uterus, it kind of pulls loose. And when it pulls loose, I don't know if you know this, but the uterus is this juicy organ with a ton of blood flow to it. So when it pulls loose, then basically you start bleeding out from the inside and it can rapidly kill you. So he has to face this question of does he want the baby saved or Sally saved? And of course, he's going to pick Sally because, you know, the baby may not even be viable at this point because they're still at the midway point of her pregnancy. And of course, it would kill Sally. And so even if Adam didn't make up his mind about this. The doctors would make up their mind, and generally they make up their mind to save the mother. So on Monday, Sally is waking up, and her baby bump is gone. And so she thinks, oh, okay, you know, I gave birth, that labor was starting. And then Adam has to try and deal with this because he doesn't want to tell her that their baby is dead, but it's quite obvious that the baby is not there for her to hold and that her baby bump is gone. And so the promo for next week has her just raging and screaming at Adam that this is all his fault, that all she wants is their baby, and it's his fault the baby is dead. He did this. He's responsible. Adam is just crushed about this. It is, oh my gosh, it is so sad. So, and of course, understandable, Sally's grief is immeasurable. All right, Tuesday, June 20th on Young and the Restless is season 50, episode 183, and we are going to see Adam being caught off guard by his dad, Victor. If Victor has one nasty thing to say about this pregnancy loss, Adam might go off on him. Adam is despondent. He saw this baby as the link to him getting back closer to Sally, whom he desperately loves, but now she hates him and blames him for her not having their little baby. And Victor may take the tack of, well, I'm sorry it happened, but it's probably better in the long run that Sally's not part of the family. If he says something tactless like that, which does sound like Victor's action 
sexual sentiment. There's no telling what Adam might say to him. That same day, we see Nick and Sally's relationship hitting a roadblock. I'm quite certain that Sally is going to be upset that Nick wasn't there for her in her hour of greatest need. Now, he has a good excuse because his daughter was having a bomb belt strapped onto her by a lunatic, but just because Nick has a good excuse for not being there is not going to change Sally's heart that he wasn't there for her. Even if she can logically understand it, it's going to be hard, and he's been supportive of the pregnancy, but he obviously wasn't thrilled that she was having his brother's baby, so this whole situation is kind of convenient for both Victor and Nick, and this is going to get so messy They have done such a soapy twist with this. It's very interesting. We're also going to see Sharon Newman seeing a different side to Nikki Newman on Tuesday. And that may be Nikki just showing up to be there for them and be present in the wake of this horrible ordeal. We also see Sharon comforting her daughter, Faith, who is utterly traumatized. All right, on Wednesday, June 21st, Young and the Restless, it's episode 184 of season 50, and we've got Victoria Newman making a big move at Newman Enterprises. She is going to try and shove Nick out with both hands to make room for Nate to work at her side while Audra steps up to take over his role at Newman Newman Media. But given that Nick is probably also going to be very upset about Sally losing the baby and just a lot of angst and the trauma of his daughter's kidnapping, it just seems like an awful predatory move of Victoria to make at this specific time. But at the same time, that seems very typical of Victoria. She's missing a sensitivity chip. She has been awful going on a year and yeah so it's crazy because that same day and there's another spoiler that says Nate Hastings gets an upper hand on Nick and of course Nate's been eyeing Nick's job and it looks like that they are going to strike while Nick is emotional and if he reacts badly that could actually just reinforce her decision to do this to him. So it's just awful what Victoria and Nate are doing, and I think that they are the most despicable duo that I'm watching right now on YNR. We also see on Wednesday Adam taking a risk with Sally. Mm, who knows? He does not want her to hate him, and I'm very interested what that means if he's going to offer to make another baby with her or just tell her that he loves her and now they can be together. I don't know, but it's all going to get so, so messy. Then Thursday, June 22nd on and the Restless. It's a very special episode. I have it down as season 50, episode 185, but we don't have the official update from the network on whether they're going to count this as one of the episodes of the season. I believe they are, though. It is a standalone John Abbott episode devoted to Jerry Douglas's years on the soap playing the Abbott patriarch. We're going to have a ton of flashbacks and footage of Jerry as John Abbott. We're also going to see Jerry Douglas's widow, Kim Douglas, show up. She's playing Zelda Wilford, who is Tracy's book agent. She's going to have scenes with the Abbott family members, and she's going to meet Diane Jenkins. Also this week, but we don't have a specific date on this one, Tracy calls a family meeting. She is sick and tired of Jack and Ashley pulling the family apart. She and Billy are trying to be mediators. They're trying to be the voices of reason. But Ashley and Jack continue to act like adolescents, so it's hard to say if they can put this back together again. Then, the week closes on Friday, June 23rd on YNR Season 50, Episode 186. We are going to see Victor questioning Victoria's leadership, and then we have a second undated spoiler for the week saying Nikki questions Vicky's motives. And of course, this is all about her disenfranchising a Newman in favor of this rogue Nate who, you know, betrayed his own family. And Victor doesn't think that Nate is going to treat the Newmans any better or their company any better. And he's already seen Nate conspiring with Audra. So he might actually sideline Victoria, which would be pretty exciting because she definitely needs a slap down at this point, right? We're also going to see Tucker McCall getting some info against somebody that he would like to take down. I don't know if this is Diane, if this is Victor, if this is Adam, who he doesn't 
like running his company. There's just no telling with Tucker, but I'm sure he's going to make the most of it. And before we dig into the last spoiler for the week, if you haven't already, please reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Young and the Restless updates and spoilers. All right, the last spoiler of next week, the week of June 19th on YNR, is that Adam's dark side emerges. So I have to believe that Sally is not open to whatever he suggests to her. He has lost the little baby girl he was looking forward to. As far as he knows, he has lost every chance to be with Sally. And then Victoria is coming for the company he's running. Adam's going to go full dark. And oh my gosh, a dark Adam Newman is a great and soapy Adam Newman. He has been playing nice and being a good boy for a while. And I think he's about to unleash. And I, for one, am there for it. Let us know what you think in the comments. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.